Hi there, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to find the percent compositions of sodium, carbon, and oxygen in sodium oxalate. I have a nice little table to help us out. The first thing is we're going to find the total mass. Take a look. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write the elements that we see. So we got sodium, carbon, oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So we got two sodiums, two carbons, and four oxygens. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table. Sodium's mass is 22.99, carbon is 12.01, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them on in. So we got 22.99, carbon is going to be 12.01, and oxygen was 16. Then to find the total mass of each particular element in the compound, we're simply just going to just multiply this row on a cross. If I could speak, that would be helpful. So when we multiply sodium's uh, row on a cross, it becomes 45.98. That's the total mass of sodium. Total mass of then carbon is going to be 24.02. And then the total mass of oxygen is going to be 64. Kind of looks like a 4. Yeah. Then you're going to add this column together to find the total mass of the entire compound. And that's going to be 134. 134 point. Blue, would you look at that? Zero, zero. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That's the first step. Now I'm going to add a column to the table. I'm going to calculate those percents easy peasy. Bam. So to find the mass percent of sodium, we're simply going to take the total mass of the sodium in the compound. So 45.98, that's the importance of this column, divided by then the total mass of the entire compound, 134. Just leave out the zeros. It, it does not affect the calculation, but it might affect the sig figs. Just be careful. So this is 34.31. If you've never heard of sig figs before, thank goodness. Next, carbon. So 24.02 divided by then 134 times then 100 to find the total percent of carbon here. It's going to be 17.93 percent. That's the percent of carbon. And then same thing for our oxygen. So that's 64 over the 134. Multiply that by 100. And we get a percentage here of roughly 47.76 percent. You don't have to worry about the units at all because the units would always cancel based on this calculation. Whatever units you have on the top will be the same as the bottom. They would cancel, so don't worry about it. You can also check yourself by adding up these percentages on over here, and it should be very, very close to 100%. The only reason why it might be slightly off is due to the rounding, but, uh, you know, that's, that's all good. All right? Thanks so much for watching. Now you know how to find the percent composition of every element inside of sodium oxalate. And this process doesn't change regardless of whatever compound you're doing. You can follow the same exact step-by-step -step procedure. Thanks for watching.